Okay, welcome back everybody. We're going to look at Candlin. It took over four hours to download this thing. And the 10 meg edition on modhub.us wasn't even a map at all. So, feeling a little bit frustrated. But, I have been in this map a couple of times. Kind of sneak peeking around. And trying to figure out what some of this stuff is. There's actually some places on the map. And basically, translator says that ID2 is Agricultural Company, which is the Candlin. Uh, also, it says Cows, Farm ID3, Cattle, August, Augustine, Farm ID4, Agriculture, Big B. And it's ID5 is Pig Breeding. This ain't my mess up. This is Google Translator. Uh, ID6 is good something sheep farm and id7 is good to oak slash horses so w's one through ten are all metals so you can do your mowing and stuff there k1 to k3 are all cow pastures so with that when we first start off it's a really pretty house let me tell course play no and they have incorporated a lot of pictures and stuff inside. You got the bell sounds, which is really nice. Me being halfway claustrophobic, first thing I did is started opening up all the doors that I could. So, but it can be a little disorienting getting through the house. And most of the rooms are pretty much the same. You've got a door over here. Stairs is really easy to go up. This house does have a sleep trigger and most of the bedrooms has a bed but pretty much has the same fireplace or the same couches and stuff in them. It has two working outside doors of which one of them did not work from the inside which I think is this one. Yeah see I'm pushing B and it's not open. So if you go through the kitchen as far as just getting out and you will kind of hang up on some stuff going through here this door will open or you could just do it but I mean you come around this other side and voila it will open but coming through this other way I don't know none of the three times I've been on this mount kind of looking around could I get that door to open from the inside but I could have just done the easy way and you know so and as I point out, all these right here, the W's, are all metals. All these are. And the K's is for cow pastures. And there is a few. I like to never figure that one out. But it's a good thing for Google Translator, I guess. So now I know and hopefully it's accurate and everybody else knows and these fields especially this one here this is a cotton field you have to be insane to go after this cotton field <laughs> and get this crop in in time but insane in a good way so you know just uh if high workers is not going to work well in this map nearly every single one of them has some kind of island <laughs> or something in it which is great I mean I am not knocking that even your metals because it's a feature added to the map but you send a higher worker down through this right here and a lot of this is power lines and stuff um, yeah and same with course play I'm sure but somebody had asked about getting around the power lines and stuff in Western Australia and I said I might could help with that so I made a small video which uh, is going to be right before this map uh, right around there one or two before it and it shows a couple ways of dealing with it and one of them is to do it yourself and record it then save it be sure you save it or you've done it off for nothing and I have done that a couple times <laughs> it's a little bit frustrating so but if you do it all yourself and record it, make big turns and stuff like that, or they kind of lose their 
uh, ability to want to turn properly. But you can uh, record it and save it and say like field 23 combine if you're over here or something. And then next time you start your worker, you push the little plus on a file folder and bring it up and you can load it up and then just tell it to start the worker and it will go along. Or you can just let it scan the fields and turn the worker loose in the corner or something like that. It may make, in this field, 18,000 <laughs> swipes up and down this field but when it gets over here just stop the worker drive around line it back up and tell it to resume it when it records or when it does a field it doesn't dots don't really show in this course play not that i know of i hadn't seen it yet but it records in dots and from one to another whenever it does the field so whenever you just do it the way you're supposed to course play there is actually dots that's going by so if you stop it here and you go around it and then you tell it to start back, it's, it makes sure it's checked, but it, by default it is, it'll start at the nearest point, or in this case, dot. And then it'll proceed along. Then you may have to babysit it again through the rest of these obstructions and stuff, but you should be able to do at least better with it. I ain't going to promise you that course play is going to do this map perfect because I ain't play this map. And I use course play on something the size on maps about the size of maybe field 31. <laughs> so anyway, let's move along. So in your garage, you have big equipment. This is a big map. And I mean, you know, it you have everything that you pretty much need to do. Meadows. Uh, this has really got several BGAs, so I mean, they're really throwing you towards doing um, some field work, but mainly leaning you towards the BGAs, and this right here, I assume, is for cattle, because like I said, there's a lot of cattle placements and stuff, so it's kind of direction they're kind of wanting you to go. I'll get you up in the air here. I about use enough of everybody's time. The towns, look really nice the old churches looks nice everything about this site looks nice um I, I really like their towns and on this map i love their roads not everybody likes roads i don't imagine you got a little soccer field over here but i mean the roads is not straight everything's a perfect square they flowing through just like the the fields are and it just all feels right. It all feels natural. And there's very few dirt roads. This here has a little washout. And then it goes to a little path going back to the woods. And I like that. I really do. Uh, some of the roads in the countryside out here. Here's your shop. And I know there's some roads up this way. Yeah. See, I don't have roads like this right here. And I don't know what that says. But, I mean, if we had gravel roads and stuff around here fixed up about like that, they probably would last a whole lot longer than what they do. So, it's kind of a cool way of doing roads. I wonder if they're actually like that where they live. And like I said, nothing is straight. I, I don't think there was any attempt to do anything straight on this map. And the trees don't look perfectly lined up for the most part that I've seen. So everything's kind of scattered and it, it just makes it feel nice. I mean, really nice. So <clears throat> let's see, I was going to show you some of the metals. I know there's one over here along the top. Yeah, here. Now here's one. And this is one of the smaller ones. Yep. One of the smaller ones. And then I think you actually own this one. I don't know how deep that is. Not bad. So, 
between that and the power lines. If you're doing chorus play, even with my one, you might want to train that one. So, and there's a big one, if I remember right. Yeah, see, this map is massive. I mean, we're talking about something on the grounds of Western Australia or something like that. Only, to me, I mean, I liked Western Australia, but this one kind of feels a little bit more visually appealing to me in a lot of ways as far as big maps go. I mean, this one, seriously, it that's a lot of grass. And I like doing grass silage, but I mean, whew. That would be a sure enough a lot of grass silage. And the lands is kind of feels flat from above. They have a little bit to them. You can kind of see as it breaks over the top of this hill here. So, I mean, they do have a little bit of row. Nothing really significant. This is probably the biggest one that I've seen so far as far as your upgraded heights difference a little solar farm so to me this is a pretty nice looking map and uh, for people that likes big farming you sure enough might enjoy this so I'm gonna let it go with that and let the rest alone because it's not worth really going into it you got as far as uh, sell points goes you got probably uh, two or three of everything. Like right here, you got four of your standard cereals sales. When it comes to like the barn, you got like three of those of that style sales. You've only got one of the spinnery, but you got like three for the milk. And other than that, I mean, you pretty much got everything that you need. For selling and plenty of them because it's a big map. So, I hope y'all like, share, uh, discuss, share any knowledge that you might have with the map with everybody else. And um, subscribe, that's free. It helps, helps a lot. Take care, everybody.